Okay, my beautiful friends, here we go. The start of a brand new week, and it's going to get freaky. It already is. This is my pre-market report on this Monday, June 12th, 2023. Before we even get started here, let me just float this idea out here. Uh, forget aliens, okay? There's all this alien talk lately. They've already chosen the new crisis, and it's in our face. You probably know what I'm talking about, but hold that thought for just a moment. I want to hear your take on this. So we understand there's this uh, <laughs> undeniable connection, obviously, between Epstein and J.P. Morgan. So apparently um, they wanted to depose Jamie Dimon, you know, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Bank, again. And by some miracle, okay, before that even got to happen, well, J.P. Morgan settled their case with Epstein victims, which means that Mr. Diamond won't need to be deposed. What's your take on that? Let, let's just put that together real quick here, okay? A lot of suspicion here, uh, a lot of speculation, but just to prevent... Again, a Wall Street Superbank CEO from any kind of, uh, well, <laughs> indiscretion be ma being made public, J.P. Morgan, the Superbank, settles their case with victims. What's your take on that? I really want to hear it. Now, you know, let's just play off of what I spoke about a little while ago. So, uh, clearly... Okay, another crisis is coming down the pike. That's how we function. Crisis to crisis to crisis. Now, if you're paying attention over the weekend, this morning, all the news about, well, this new unfolding crisis is in our face. Exactly what you and I have been speculating would be the next crisis for quite a while. Food insecurity. Food scarcity food shortages. There's all this talk about crop failures and whatever else it's going to be. So what does this mean? Again, the best way, in my view, to keep people under control, of course, would be to, well, starve them. And I think that's what the next crisis is going to be. It plays right into the global warming agenda as well, which is being blamed for crop failures and everything freaking else. What else does it mean here? Let's just, let's just, Think for a nanosecond, food shortages, food scarcity, food insecurity. What do you think that means for the price of food or food inflation, which has been outpacing, well, pretty much everything else with regard to inflation? So I'm going to go out here and tell you something. All right, look, I'm not a, probably the, the number one authority out here on prepping, but you need non perishables around. You must be ready for the next crisis, which in my view, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you would agree, is going to be, again, food insecurity, food scarcity, uh, and everything else connected to it. So just be ready for that, all right? Um, remember this, nobody knows until everybody knows. And once everybody knows, you can imagine what that means for the stores. They're going to be cleaned out, all right? So just get ready for the next crisis a food crisis, of course, and food inflation, which is going to be out of control, along with the rest of it that's that's just out of control as well here. So uh, on the economic front, we got some very interesting news, and I want to hear from you on this, wherever you may live here in the United States, because this, this news is pertinent to what's happening here in the United States. So the news is this. Most states already here in the United States are already in a recession, but how is it, again, we're friends, right? We talk about everything here. How is it that we've been told repeatedly that there is not going to be a recession? Everything is fine. Our economy is strong. And of course, we are adding jobs. Now, on, on the back of this, most states here in the United States are now in a recession. Um, this is also interesting. The demand, I'm reading this here. The demand for low-skilled low skilled workers is apparently high. Um, and this 
I guess, fact. Okay, I don't know this. I'm just reading what, what's being fist-fed to all us. So demand for low-skilled workers is high, and that's skewing uh, the demand for workers in the data. So this is exactly, again, what you and I have been talking about. They said they want us to believe that we are adding jobs. We're adding jobs. Ex-President Mummy, the, the Frankenstein creature sitting behind the Resolute Desk. Well, he's been touting this. We're adding jobs. We're adding jobs. Our economy is strong. But you and I have questions. What kind of jobs are these? Well, apparently we're adding low or no skilled jobs. Oh, fantastic. I'm sure these are paying very, very well. Anyway, so uh, apparently, again, it's skewing the data. Of course, it's skewing the data. That's so our freak show president, whatever it is, uh, who's clearly seeking re-election, um, you know, can tout numbers that are completely fake. But I think we all know that. On top of all this, we find out that, yes, the economy is slowing. Now, with regard to productivity here in the United States, it's being called, are you ready for this one? incredibly weak, incredibly weak productivity. Well, that would play right into what see most states here in the United States already are in recession, which means uh, we are in recession. But no, 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 we're not in recession because you see the Federal Reserve says we're not and we're not going to have a hard landing and our president says we're doing great and so does Piglosi, uh, everybody else who wants to sell you the lie that we're doing great. You can't make this stuff up. But the biggest thing here, honestly, is, is this issue with crop failures, food insecurity, food scarcity. That's the next crisis, and I want you to be ready for it. Clearly, that's what it is. And I want to hear your opinion. Do you think the next crisis is more likely to be aliens, which they're playing up pretty good, or do you think it's going to be food insecurity, food scarcity? Aliens, you know, it's going to frighten a lot of people, but it's not going to hit them in their belly, all right? You hit someone in the belly... You know, we're all just, what, three meals away from, you know, complete pandemonium. You understand? This would cause pandemonium uh, and fear and everything else associated with it. I'm talking about food insecurity, food scarcity, crop failures, whatever else. And for you farmers out here, I want to hear from you. Um, what's going on? Is this true? Uh, are, they, are they just feeding us more nonsense? Again, I do want to hear from you. Now, let's look over here at the market this morning. Stock futures are higher. Not higher by much, but higher nonetheless. The 10-year yield, lower. The yield curve, lower. Who's buying all the debt? I'm going to let you fill in the blank there. Uh, the relative strength of the dollar is lower this morning. And even though the relative strength of the dollar is weaker, you got gold, especially silver, under pressure this morning. You also got cryptocurrencies under pressure this morning, and you have crude oil under pressure this morning. So that's the story, and I really do want to hear from you on a couple of things. Uh, as we started off with, this this really gets to me a little bit, this issue. J.P. Morgan settles Epstein victims' case after lawyers pushed for another Jamie Dimon deposition. Hmm. Does that seem right to you? Do you think that, let's say you or I, were implicated in, in, in some kind of an investigation like this that we could just, you know, settle, pay a fine, and our case would just go away? Of course not. But if you are the CEO of a Wall Street super bank, how many times have we covered here that they can get away with murder? They can get away with child abuse or anything else they want doesn't matter uh any kind of indiscretion these people are untouchable all right it's uh it's quite it's quite a phenomenon to see honestly quite a phenomenon all right anyway so that's really it people that's where we stand today we covered a lot here um thank you again for being here with me uh later on today 105 p.m Pacific time, you're going to see me again live, and I hope to see more of you there. Um, we got a good turnout, but uh, I'd like to increase those numbers. And, and again, if you see fit, if I cover anything here that is important, those thumbs up, it just takes you a second, are so important. Again, YouTube sees those thumbs up. It says, hey, people like this video. We're going to show it. It gets the word out. All right, it's important, I think. Uh, to, to hear this kind of stuff. Anyway, with that said, people, 
this guy here loves you from the heart. I mean that with all I got. Please comment, share the video. I will see you later, 105 p.m. Pacific. I'm out of here.